So, just finished wiring up the uh, electric rotator and the electric chute control for my tractor. I'm showing you right now where I put the switches. I'm going to rotate it here the way that I see it. So, this switch here is to turn on the front LED lights, which I've installed before. This is for the rear LED lights. This is to make the chute deflector go up and down. This one is to make the chute rotate left and right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the chute. There you go. There's the chute. And what I'll do is I'm going to rotate it so you can see what the rotate does. There you go. It's rotating around. And I'll be able to show you in a second what I did there. So if you look closely, hopefully I'll be able to zoom in here. You'll see this little silver actuator that I stuck on there. It's a linear actuator. And that's basically what makes it go up and down. So if I push it up, raises it up. Push it down, it pulls it all the way down. Basically all ready for winter. I'm gonna rotate it around. So what did I use? Let me get off the tractor here and I'll show you. So what I used was, like I said, the linear actuator there to, go, to make it go up and down. And then I also used a window motor right here. There you go. The window motor is this silver piece and this black piece here. What I did is I came over here, and this is the original shaft that was on here, and I took this little coupler, and I attached it onto the motor, and I also made this orange bracket here, painted it orange to match the tractor, but that's it. This right here rotates around, spins this on the gears, and the whole thing rotates. And then I wired everything together, bought these little plugs, looks very professional, so that I can go ahead and disconnect this in the summertime when you're not using it. And that's it.